Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations and for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads. Watch us every week on Kazakh TV. Her pectoral is all embellished with a karakapak tracery. Its fine, elegant horn gives beauty to a black chapan. The chapan with long laps fits the girl like a glove. The red and blue threads make the black fabric look colorful. It seems that the square and rectangular patterns are about to speak. The chapan, embroidered with galloons, is a relic of several centuries. Only the worn out velvet folds show that the chapan is an ancient relic. This chapan belonged to my grandmother. When the older people passed away, it was left as a relic. Now I wear it. Basically, it is a relic left from the ancestors to serve as an example for today's youth. That is why we keep it as an example for young people. Tailoring is a profession that suits only girls and women. This very old black sewing machine is a relic of a century. A lot of clothes were sewn by this relic machine. The chapan embroidered with galloons and the chapan embroidered with threads were made on this sewing machine too. Embroidery, corpes, cushions, and slip covers passed through the same sewing machine. The sewing machine still sews well, its case is straight, the needle and rack work really fast. Actually, we sew this stuff as well. This also was left by my grandmother and mother-in-law. My mother-in-law sewed with this sewing machine. We sew corpes and cushions at home. This is also an example for youth. This is a heritage for youth seeking to do craft and understand its value. We are using it for sewing things. The one who has seen a father will sew a coat. So shall Pan Apa is a good at tailoring. She taught her daughters tailoring that she learnt from her grandmother and mother. She did that for the purpose of preserving the national heritage. Now it seems that her dream came true. In the Kamsha inherited the skill first from her grandfather and father. Second, this is a gift from Allah. One of her recent hobbies is tailoring. She engages in it. She got the singing skill from her father. Her father was a singer also. Kamsha is the most noble-minded girl, with a strong character among the wonderful children of Sholpanapa. She is a beautiful girl who is brought up by her mother and pampered by her father. Kamsha spent her childhood in Karakalpakstan. She is the girl who has seen the elderly women scutching wool and making felt in the Aul. She remembers some episodes from that time. Mm, 
I would not lie if I said I inherited my tailoring skill from my grandmothers. When I was little, I went to the Aul. They used to gather women from the neighborhood and enjoy themselves by singing songs, spinning yarn, and doing needlework. Kamshat first learned tailoring from her grandmother and mother. Now she is developing this skill. Tailoring has become her hobby when she has free time. Her friend, Jenisgul, helps her in this work. Jenisgul's craftsmanship is well known to all Kazakh people. The skillful girl can do anything. Two friends make corpres and cushions and treat them as national heritage. They have got dreams and aims in common. They support each other. My friend, Jenis Gul Daletova, has become like my younger sister. On the one hand, she is my intimate friend. On the other hand, she is the one who is really sympathetic and close to me. As this girl's craftsmanship is genuine now, I am really carried away with it. What is it for? First, why should we not be proud of such girls who widely spread the Kazakh ornament patterns? Why can't I learn at least a few patterns from her craftsmanship? Now I will sing a verse for you. Do you think of me being alone? Does your dream correspond to reality? Laying your head on a pillow at nights, do you think of me? This is a Kamshat song dedicated to her friend Jenny School. It confesses that Kamshat is talented too. The sacred art seems to unite them. She is a lovely friend. She is always near me when I am in trouble. She shares my happiness. She is the one who loves me sincerely. One of her special features is that if she does not like anything, she tells it outright. I like this very much. She is really helpful. She often organizes charity concerts. I think it would be great if every art person was so all round. Kamshat loves reading a lot. This interest united us because she is the author of the texts of her songs. We also started a project together called A Song We Did Not Hear. We are continuing it. It was held twice, and we are planning to organize it on a wider level in the future. I would like to add that Kamshat is a very sensitive girl. She is close to art. She has got her own style of singing and unique voice. Kamsha is a professional singer. Her father, Yasmukamedeva Shingeti, inspired her for this art. 
Yismukhambet was born and grew up in the Karalapak land. He is a talented singer who made a significant contribution to the Kazakh art. He is a famous composer, a leading representative of the Kazakh bard singing school. I inherited this gift from my father. I would not be mistaken if I called it my father's heritage. You can see now, I cannot develop my father's art due to my workload. But in the future, as a professional singer, I will write songs in the Kazakh rock and roll and bard style. Actually, I am often carried away by the patriotic feeling. I don't know why. Probably this is because my father was a politician or because he did not treat life indifferently. I pay much attention to patriotic songs. Songs about the fate of the Kazakhs spread all over the world are close to the Kazakh heart. Kamshat loves music of her father's composed songs about the national destiny. You may feel events of the whole century from the songs of Yes Magabet Aga. Listening to his songs, you can imagine the historical moment of migration of the Kazakhs being deprived of their land and folk. Do you remember there was a song, Karabaur Kaskaladak Kaida Ushtin Pir Purlar Ai? That song woke me my heart up. After that song, I do not know why I feel like my father's every song has been predetermining my life. For example, there is a song, Una Taman, performed by Rosa Rimbaeva Apai. Now it has got the permanent place in my heart because I have got the same love in my life. I have got a feeling connected with that song. Kamshat treats her father as a saint. She knows well music and creation story of every song left by her father. She gives high assessment to his love songs. She learned from her father that there is not anything great but love. This is sung this way. Loneliness trapped my soul trapped and conquered my body. That song, in Karim, tells that the real friendship is rare in life. The song implies the meaning that if you want to have a loyal friendship, you should contribute to it too. So you need to care about your friend who is in trouble. <laughs> A talented person recognizes real art. He can value it. Kamshat has got a special respect for artists. She praises their work a lot. She speaks internally with pictures. She has got inspiration from a picture. The singer sometimes searches for a tune in every picture. Every color has got a feeling. Every color has got an inner secret that cannot be expressed by a person. A picture seems to have got a thought. That is why I think everyone, especially an artist, should be proud of himself as he can narrate his nation's sorrow. Although he cannot say it, he shares his views by his pictures. He gives his joy. He can present his country his picture as a relic. This is a reason I value artists. Every time I get past this place, I see marvelous pictures and take the one I like most as a gift. You should not be afraid of enemies if you have got many friends. Almaty is the city that united plenty of souls. 
Dilshat is a beauty who came from China. Kamshat came across this beautiful girl from Urmqi in this big city. These girls have much in common. They value art and humanity a lot. I like Almaty very much. Almaty is my Kazakh city. It has got beautiful nature. There is my Kazakh nation. It seems that I have got friends here. When I arrived in Kazakhstan, Allah presented me with a very good friend. I am very glad for this. This friend is a girl, Kamshat. Although I have known Kamshat for little time, she attracted me with her special humanity, strong courage, stubbornness, frankness, loyalty, sympathy, and kindness. I treat Kamshat as a close friend at Almaty. I am very happy about it. Here, Kamshat tried herself as an actress for the first time. Pak Sezim is her father's song. The first feeling experienced is this holy love. Numb suffering of love is depicted. From the video music, it feels like a girl's tender, desperate heart is beating because she cannot stay with her beloved man. When her father was alive, the singer girl stepped on a scene and was shot in the video music. She was in the bustling center of art. At that time, Kamshat was the happiest person. Her father, coming from the distant Karakalpak land, has brought his homesickness to his motherland, developed it, and transferred it as a relic. On top of that, he started a wonderful program called In a Song We Have Not Heard, aimed at gathering unknown poets, composers, arrangers, singers, and unnoticed people who create singers for having singing, art, and music soiree, thereby making these people popular and letting the folk know about those who work hard behind a singer. The way of art is difficult and challenging. Nevertheless, Kamshat cannot leave this holy art. Her father's beautiful songs are like her life light. Every time the brave girl remembers her father, she cannot help crying. This is not her weakness, but it shows how she misses him a lot. It is difficult to be without my father. Being in art is difficult for a girl itself. Despite that, I try hard. I am doing my best because I do not want to fall behind people. I want to keep my father's art for tomorrow. And my father used to pamper us a lot. My father influenced me in choosing the art and life profession. A person rarely has got a number of skills. Kamsha is not only a singer, but a lawyer as well. She supports people in need. She gives charity concerts. She is always ready to help people around and her friends. <laughs>